Well, this, this album here is um, an album of family photos. First of all, here's my mother. She was very beautiful. I think she used to be a hat model, uh, part-time at least. Here's another lovely one. It's one of her with me. I was born in July 1947. That's just one of her on her wedding day with my not father. For my 70th birthday, uh, I got a DNA test from my two nieces and from my sister. It was a lovely present and I thought it would just show me my global origins. About a year later, I realised that it had another page, but there was a stranger in there and it really went from there. My sister did a test and the only person that we hadn't got in common was my father and therefore my dad was not my biological father. It was an amazing shock. We were very close together, we loved each other, and I think we really looked alike. You can see from that we both have, sadly, the same profile. It just didn't occur to me that he wasn't my dad. It just didn't. These tests are often gifted for Christmas or birthdays, and the rates of people testing is increasing exponentially. So you spit in here, that's your genetic legacy, preserved forever. As a genetic genealogist, I have to disclose to a client or to anybody who takes a DNA test that it is a possibility that they will discover that their father is not their father. It is common enough that I have to do that every single time. And um, three times in my family alone, people have discovered that their father is not their father. Where is it? In my own family, I discovered that my grandmother was illegitimate. So this is my great-grandmother. She was Catholic. She was sainted in our family. So not that what she did is any reflection on her um, morally, but it just never crossed our minds. Nobody can keep these sorts of secrets anymore because the truth is in our DNA and we can test our DNA incredibly easily. And the databases are now so vast that anyone can very, very easily find out the truth of who their parents are. That's me and my brother. That's my brother, that's me. See, so you can tell the difference, really. I've that's never that. actually thought of, um, of colour. I never thought I was black, if that makes sense. I was just, I was Italian. I thought my mum and dad was my dad. And they just treated me as their son, or as in, you know, the love was there. Uh, to be honest with you, I thought I was a throwback, because my granddad was dark like me. And when people were telling me, oh, that can't be your dad, and all this, all this thing, I just ignored it. My mum was a really strong woman, and that was it. He's my son, you don't need to ask any more questions. I decided to get my dad DNA test because for years, growing up, I was asked by loads of people, where am I from, where are we from? I want to know where my ancestors have come from and why I'm here and, yeah, just, I couldn't have that question mark over it anymore. Go to your connections, yeah. The DNA test came out on my mum's side, was Italian. On my dad's side, it literally was just saying, um, came from West Africa. Okay. It's nice to know now, it's part of me, I know that, but at the same time, I don't know, I'm, I'm just, it was, the DNA test wasn't for me as in to find out my original dad. My dad was there when I was born, so he took me on or, or she had a affair when she was with him or that bit, I, I will never know. So whatever the reason was, he was my dad, I don't need to go and look for anyone else. It's quite apparent that I'm different in my family and I've always felt like the cuckoo in the nest and I've always been a sad person right from way back. I remember from when I was little always feeling sad and it does make me wonder whether the cause of the sadness was a kind of primal or fundamental feeling of being different. I spent hours and hours and hours looking for my dad. Of course, he won't be alive now, but his family will be. I found some lovely people. We've got DNA in common, all on my father's side, and we formed a little Facebook group, and we're all working together on finding this person that we all have in common. Mm -hmm.
And I'm meeting my cousin Sharon in Ireland. We're meeting in the apartment we're staying over. And we're trying to put together all the pieces. It's like a jigsaw puzzle with bits missing. Hello! Hello! Hello. 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 Oh, oh, no, you didn't marry. I'm all right, thank you. It just feels really weird, doesn't it's, it? Yeah. It does, it does. <laughs> Can you go into the DNA and just show wh where we match? These are all the people we share. Yeah. It's been a year almost, hasn't it? Coming up for a year. Yeah. Oh, I wonder yeah. if we'll ever get there. Do you think we will? What I'd like to think so. I think that more and more people are doing the day. Yes, yeah. I'll take some time. I can't describe it, but it's like the very first step onto feeling that I'm filling in that blank about who my father was, the paternal. So this, these two people here <laughs> are sort of our actual relatives, and it's, it's, it's like the beginning. It's hard to describe how important it is. I have to know. Parents today need to realise that even if a child got to their teens and they thought something was a bit fishy, they would be able to just, that would be all blown yeah. out of the water with one DNA test. That certain fact is truth, you can't rewind it. Getting that on a piece of paper is just, I think that's quite incredible. I think there's about to be the biggest explosion of DNA testing and skeletons coming out of cupboards. Um, probably a lot of people are a bit worried about it. Before, people could go to their graves with a secret, and now, of course, the secret may come out. There will be quite a lot of problems, but I think there'll also be a lot of happy endings.